everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kirielle and today we are finally reviewing the brand new Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation and also the concealer on the side. <laughs> I love the original Conceal and Define Foundation. It is one of my ride or die products. I use it every time I want a full beat. <laughs> So when I saw this come out, I was really, really excited. Testing foundations is one of my favorite things to do, and we do a lot of it here on this channel. <laughs> I'm constantly in search for the perfect foundation for my oily ass skin. <laughs> now you're probably thinking, hmm, you just said you have oily skin, yet you're trying a hydrating foundation. Yes. <laughs> if you are new here, I am an oily skin girl with an obsession for dewy skin. <laughs> I love the glow, and I love to have healthy looking skin. I don't want to be wearing matte all day, every day. I mean, how boring. <laughs> but I am desperately in search for a hydrating foundation that looks good and wears all day for my skin type. If you are new as well, why not subscribe? All you have to do is hit the red button down below and the bell button, and you'll get notified of all my future uploads. And you can join me on the search for my perfect foundation <laughs> and everything that comes in between. I have just purchased the Beauty Bay X M -M 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 Mitchell palette, so I'm gonna be doing a review on this soon, so stay tuned for that. Let's get back to the foundation. <laughs> so I purchased the foundation in the shade F.7. I got the concealer in the same shade, which is for fair skin tones with neutral undertones. This bad boy comes in 50 shades. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, it varies from a pure white to a very, very deep colour. So this is affordable at £9 and hopefully anyone and everyone can find their shade in it. The annoying thing is though, is Superdrug doesn't hold every single shade. So I had to purchase this online and obviously I didn't know 100% if it was going to suit me. So there is that con. You will see throughout the video whether it matched me or not. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> obviously I'm going to be doing swatches, comparisons, everything like that. So you guys can see the shade difference between F1 and and the new shade that I've got. But before we get into all of that, let's get into the claims of this foundation. So this is infused with hyaluronic acid to hydrate the complexion, provide a plumping effect, and to create a smoother satin glow finish. So it's not claiming to be dewy, it's just claiming to be kind of like a natural finish foundation. It's been specially formulated to suit every skin type. So it is supposed to be able to work for my skin type, but it's supposed to be particularly beneficial for dry skin. Offers all day radiance and glow without setting into fine lines or clinging to dry patches and it's supposed to offer medium to full coverage. There isn't crazy claims with this like 24 hour wear or anything like that but we shall see how this reacts to my skin. You guys will see how it applies, what kind of coverage I can get, what kind of finish and also how it wears all day. <laughs> so yeah if you want to see all that just stay tuned. Let's get straight in to the swatches. Okay so sorry about the background situation. <laughs> I'm not currently in my house right now but I really wanted to get the comparison up for you guys. So we have the Conceal and Hydrate Foundation in the shade F07, the Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation in the shade F1, the Revolution Face Base in the shade F1, L'Oreal Fresh Wear in the shade 15 Porcelain, CYO Life Proof in the shade 101, Fenty Pro Filter Matte Foundation in the shade 110, Maybelline Superstay Foundation in the shade 03 True Ivory, and then the MAC Studio Fix Foundation in NW10. Your girl needs coffee today. I am so tired. <laughs> and it's pretty much almost afternoon, so that's embarrassing. <laughs> Why do I look like a floating head right now? <laughs> I'm so excited to get this foundation on my face to kind of make myself look more alive and feel better. <laughs> oh wait, how rude of me. Where is my remote? <laughs> I haven't turned my lights on. Lumos. <laughs> I'm never doing that again. <laughs> For me, these are like, you know, on like a radio show where they've got the on-air light. That's what those lights are to me. Okay, I cannot continue unless they're on. <laughs> okay, so let's get on to this review. It's been a messy start, clearly. <laughs> so as per usual, with my foundation reviews, I'm going to be trying out a brush and a sponge, see which one applies better, gets a better finish, etc. Ooh, it's a pump. I was just twisting and turning that, trying to get the lid off, but it's actually got a pump. Oh, yay. The other Conceal and Define had that, like, doe foot in it, which I don't mind. I like the fact that I didn't have to get my hands dirty, but we have a pump this time around. Okay, where's my little glass palette? There she is. Forgotten how to do one of these videos. I'm just sitting here like, and now what? <laughs> Let's just see what the consistency is of this one. The other one is kind of thick. 
Hello. Ah, there we go. Ooh, I know, liquidy. Put two pumps out there. The shade looks pretty good, actually. I think this is the perfect shade from this foundation for me on first glance. But yeah, it is a pretty liquidy consistency, as you can see it there. I've already primed, by the way. I use the Barry M Unicorn Drops and also Pore Fashional in my pore areas. I've been loving that combo recently. But yeah, let's get on to it. I forgot to do this last time, so I'm gonna do it now. I just wanna see if this is a better match. It looks like it is on my face, but hmm, on my chest. I don't know if you guys can see, but it seems actually a little bit dark. Like only a touch dark, but like the undertone looks a little bit orangey. Hmm. I mean, I can get away with it fine, but I thought this was gonna be the one, you know? The annoying thing with the shade as well is they don't hold it in store. Anyway, let's see how this goes. Okay, I'm gonna try the brush on this side. Let's see how this blends out and feels. I don't know if that's my brush or the foundation, but it does not smell good. <laughs> it's blending out pretty nicely and the coverage looks kind of medium. Doesn't look like complete full coverage. Like the Conceal and Define matte one I find is pretty much complete full coverage. After like one or two layers, like it's complete. Ooh, this looks quite nice, you know. Why did I say it like that? <laughs> this actually looks similar to the Fenty one I just tried. Hmm, super lightweight. I can't feel anything on my skin and it blended out super duper easily. Also, it doesn't look textured or anything. I'm really liking the way this is looking. Now the colors on my face, it doesn't look too bad. You can still see though, compared to my neck, it's just slightly too dark and this is one of the paler shades. So that would mean I have to go up a shade again. I mean, why don't I just buy the straight white one? That'll probably match me. <laughs> I'm gonna bring a little bit of product down my neck to try and match me up. <laughs> it does seem to go on lighter and then darken a little bit. So there is a little bit of oxidization going on. Let's just see how it applies on the sponge side, see if I get any better coverage. Can I just say as well, that was super fast. <laughs> Blending wise, it uh, really took no time at all. Okay, let's blend this baby out. Okay, so I have got a little bit more lighter coverage with the sponge, which is usually how it goes. Sometimes I'm surprised. <laughs> but my redness is coming through a little bit more on this side on my cheek here and you can still see a lot of my discoloration. Let's try going in with another layer real quick. Did I go in with the second layer on this side? I can't even remember. My brain is shot this morning. <laughs> Coffee has saved me. I need to wake up man. Let's blend this out again. I still feel like I'm not getting full coverage on this side. You can still see in this section, you can still see what's coming through, you know? I definitely prefer the coverage on the brush side. Finish wise, I feel like on the sponge side, I've got a little bit more of a glow to my skin, but there's still a little bit of glow on the brush side. So I think I'm gonna go in with a brush with this one. I really prefer the coverage. On my palette, I almost used up those two pumps. I have a little slither of foundation left. I'm gonna go in with the rest of this on my brush and just pack it on the side and get more coverage. Again, even though I'm on my third layer of foundation, it doesn't feel heavy at all. I feel like that's a lot better coverage now. I don't know if on camera you can still see things coming through, but they're not in real life. <laughs> I've forgotten to finish up my forehead, so I'm just going through that real quick. Try and get rid of this monster in the center of my face. Oh my God. I do feel like, because I've gone in with three layers on this side, I just want to even myself out on this side. So I'm going to go in with just one more layer and just even myself out a little bit. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm pretty even. And I quite like the way my skin looks. Again, it's got that nice glow to it. Let's see how it feels. It's not sticky or tacky, but it's not completely set. So this does feel like I would have have to powder down. But I love the way my skin is looking. It's looking very healthy and glowy, but not overkill. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my concealer. I'm hoping this is gonna look a lot better than the original. I really hated the original. It was really drying and gave my under eyes a weird texture. Now this is in the same shade as the foundation. Usually I would go lighter, so we'll see if this was a mistake or not. I may just look like a complete moon face, <laughs> but I just decided to pick up the same color. It is a little bit orangey, a little bit darker than what I would usually go for. I really don't like this doe foot. It's like very stiff and hard. I like my doe foots to be soft, you know? I am putting it by my eye area. Mm, kind of smells like pink. <laughs> Great. I have been switching up the way I kind of blend up my concealer, so I'm gonna try it both ways today with a brush and with a sponge, and we'll see 
which one blends this one better. I'm gonna go in with my brush on this side. I usually use this and then pat over with the sponge, but we're gonna see how this blends. This under eye is the one with the most amount of creases. Do you guys have that where one is more creasy than the other? <laughs> this actually has a decent amount of coverage. Looking up close though, it's still looking kind of cakey, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna just go over it with my sponge and see if I can get rid of the excess. I feel like on camera it's looking okay, but in real life, not looking the best. Let's just try blending it out with the sponge on this side. Okay, finish wise, I feel like it's a lot better with the sponge because it kind of smooths it out a little bit more. But you can still see the dark areas, so it's not complete full coverage for me. Oh god, I do not want to smile with this concealer because I have a feeling my lines and everything are gonna look terrible. <sighs> I need a really smoothing concealer I think to help with my under eyes. They're just looking not the best. <laughs> I don't know what it is with Makeup Revolution's concealers. They always make my under eyes look so textured and I have used a buckload of eye cream. I even hydrated my eyes last night. I left like an eye mask on overnight and they are still looking so textured. You can see the darkness coming through with that. Not my favorite concealer in the world and my under eyes feel like a little bit heavy and I haven't even powdered them yet. <laughs> also it's not blending the best with the foundation by here. Oh, and now it's pilling. <laughs> this was a bad choice. <laughs> okay, no, I <laughs> I do not like that concealer. It's done something weird with my pores by here and now I've got that kind of bobbly look going on. <sighs> okay, so on that bombshell, I'm gonna go finish up my face. It is now 25 past 11, so we'll call the check-in time that. I'll show you guys what my finished look is and I'll put everything that I use in the description box. But yeah, see you guys in a sec. All right, you guys, fall is in full-fledged on my face. <laughs> I used the Jaclyn Hill original palette today and I always forget how freaking good it is. I'm excited for this time of year, it's my favourite time of year. So I decided to bring out the orangey colours today uh, and I am in love. <laughs> but as far as the foundation goes, it's still looking pretty good. I did use a blurring powder underneath my eyes, it's kind of helped a little bit but I still really dislike the concealer. <laughs> my under eyes just they're just not looking that hot, okay. <laughs> but overall my skin is still looking really good, still got really good coverage and my powders blended over well. I did set it, but after a little bit of time I did feel like maybe I didn't have to, but having oily skin I would always set my foundation. But yeah, I'm liking the way that it's looking right now. It is similar to the Conceal and Define, I find the way it applies, the way it looks. It's just got a tiny little bit more of a dewy finish. Obviously I've added highlight here, but on my forehead, just part of my forehead. I haven't added any highlight and it has a subtle sheen. Again, it's not a dewy foundation, but it has a little something, a little bit of a radiance. It almost looks like a foundation where I've put a glowy primer underneath and then set it, if that makes any sense. <laughs> but yeah, now I'm gonna go live out the rest of my day and I shall check back with you guys in a few hours. Oh, and at the moment it is five to one, so I took my sweet ass time doing my makeup today. <laughs> but I mean, it was worth it for the full vibes. Okay, see you in a bit. <laughs> Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick check-in. Uh, it's been a long ass day <laughs> and again I'm only now able to check in and it's nine o'clock so this has been on for over ten hours now. So this has had quite a long day wear test. Usually I would do a check-in around halfway through the day but I just haven't had time and I'm really sorry. <laughs> Let's see how my face is looking. As far as my face is feeling, it feels pretty normal. I don't feel heavy, I don't feel tired, I don't feel like my face is drenched in oil or anything, which for the past two foundations that I've tried on this channel, I kind of did feel that way after the full day. Makeup Revolution, are you gonna, is this gonna be another favorite? Let's take a look. What? This is kind of insane, okay? I'm a little bit oily. As you can see, especially on my forehead, I'm a little bit oily. But this, this looks pretty good. It hasn't separated. Even though I look oily, I would still rock this. This is the kind of oil that I don't mind. Because I just look more dewy and glowy more than complete oil slick. Like it's still even all over and it's still stayed all over my face. Apart from my chin a little bit. But I was eating earlier and I'm a very, very messy eater. <laughs> So I did have to dab around my lips. I've also reapplied my lipstick twice. It's come off a little bit on my chin, but it's only slight fading. It hasn't completely disappeared. There's no bobbliness. It hasn't sunk into my pores. It's come off a little breakout by here and a little bit on my monstrosity by here. 
but you know what, for 10 hours of wear, I'm pretty impressed and I really like the way my skin looks. It's not settled into smile lines, it's not settled into fine lines. What the heck? I want to know what they put in this stuff. <laughs> as far as the concealer, it hasn't got any worse. It hasn't got any better. I feel like putting the Jeffree Star powder over top really helped it and really helped blur it a little bit so it didn't look so creepy. This right here is highlight, but the rest of my face does have a little bit of a sheen to it. But this is nothing. You guys have seen me in some pretty oily states, but this just looks really nice. I feel like I could just powder this kind of area a little bit on my forehead and it would be refreshed and ready to go. I'm really impressed. Drugstore is killing it compared to the high end for me. But being a hydrating foundation, it lasted pretty well on oily skin. Considering this is only a one check-in video, again, I think I'm gonna wear this on a second day and try a different primer and things like that, even though I'm pretty happy with the results and I know I like the finish. I feel like giving it a second try is gonna show my feelings a little bit further, do a little bit more research, you know, and then we can discuss our findings. <laughs> but I am really impressed with this. Makeup Revolution, you did it once again. If I try this on another day, I'll leave these clips by here. So once again, future Curiel, tell them how it is. Hey guys, I have no idea if I'm in focus or not. Uh, hello? Am I? I don't know. <laughs> I'm in a rush. I'm gonna pop in real quick. So this is the second day of me wearing the foundation. Looking pretty good. Applied it with a brush, went over with a sponge. Used a different primer today. That will all be linked down below for you guys, but it's looking pretty good. I really like it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go sort my hair out because it's a mess <laughs> and I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. Uh, sorry for the quick intro, um, but I'll see you <laughs> later on in the day. Bye. Hey guys, I'm just gonna do another quick check-in for you. It's now just about half past one. This has been on for about five hours. I put it on before I went to work and I was at work by quarter past eight. So it's been on my face for, actually it's coming up to more like six hours. I've had this on now and it's still looking really good. I am looking quite glowy, quite dewy, but not crazy oily. I quite like the way my skin is looking now. And the foundation hasn't broken apart. Like, this is so good for the price. It does remind me of the original as far as lasting power goes and the way it makes my skin look and coverage wise. But it just allows my skin to have that little bit of radiance and it doesn't keep my oils at bay as much. I think this is going to be one of my favorites. Like, that I've ever tried and that's like a massive thing. I've tried so many different foundations. This one just makes my skin look so healthy which that's the kind of finish that I'm searching for. It hasn't transferred, there's no movement and I'm a person who touches my face quite a lot and nothing bad has happened to it. This is another one that's going right in my arsenal, it's going in my top drawer. Yeah, I'm really impressed. Makeup Revolution. You killed it once again. Okay, so that is it from me. <laughs> I'm gonna now sign off. If you enjoy foundation reviews and makeup in general, then feel free to subscribe. All you need to do is hit the red button and the bell button, and that will notify you when I upload. I love trying foundations, especially when they end up like this one. <laughs> but I'm always constantly on the search for that perfect foundation for my skin. So we're gonna keep on trying them. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna love you and leave you. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world, and I hope to see you on the next one. Till then, bye guys. You guys know Tessa Foundations is one of my favorite. You guys know Tessa Foundation. Is... I've already primed by the. I feel like I'm gonna fly away with these sleeps. <laughs> Frills? I'm not used to them.